then p is less than 0.05, because it was statistically significant. They didn't give you another alpha level, so you assume alpha is 0.05. And then the last thing we have is at a squared. If you want to be technical, it's at a squared partial, but you could just put at a squared. That's fine. And what was our at a squared for the interaction? 30%. You can put 30%, or if you like, you can put 0.3. Either one is fine. And that would be it. You don't, have, you don't know what the variables are, so you can't say, you can't write, really write me a sentence, but you can say that there was a statistically significant interaction of IV1 and IV2, and that's the the APA statistical statement to back that up. So you do the same thing for each one. You should be able to write a statement for the main effect of IV1, the main effect of IV2, or the interaction. Yeah. Uh, for just a general question, for the one, if we're making our own graph, mm -hmm. does it matter which um, this IV1 or IV2 that we put in the legend? Nope, do whichever way it makes sense to you. That's totally fine. You're, if you're drawing your own graph, draw it the way it makes sense to you. I can, I can draw graphs both ways, so that's fine. Okay, any other questions? On the test, I'm not, I'm going to have you reading graphs, but not drawing graphs. So sometimes drawing graphs takes people a really long time, and then they stress out because they're worried about the axes, and, the, and then they change it, and they scribble it out and flip over paper. I'm just like, it's, it's just a sketch. It's okay. So I found that... It's easier just to have you read graphs right now. Okay. All right. Any other questions? This problem set gives you a pretty good idea of the kinds of things you're going to want to be able to do. Um, so make sure that you can identify, you know your flow chart, you've got your formulas for the different things. So imagine your chart's going to be full this time because you've got to get your flow chart stuff on there. You've got to get your formulas on there so you don't forget how to do the different calculations. And any other tips you want to give yourself about what you need to remember for reading the different graphs. Um, but remember, you get both sides, handwritten. And my, what I encourage you to do is make your card and then try some. You'll go back and try and do problem set problems using just your card to see if you have everything on your card you need to solve the problem. Test drive your card to see if it works. All right. Go forth and be awesome. I will see you guys on Thursday.